Five and a half furlongs. Field in line. Starter in position. He's ready. They're off for the Georgia Sang OD trophy. They came out perfectly. Strike smart. Grabs an early lead as they blast past the five. Loyal Action now goes in pursuit. Her neck separates them. Blinking light just in behind with Royal Ash. Ella Fortunado in the blue runs the rail and begins to make some progress. Fearless Soul toward the back. And last of all in the green, that she's my hedge fund. They belt away passing the 716th. The battle up front continues. Strike smart, exchanging body blows with Royal Action. These two heads apart as they slip past the three. A blinking light and Royal Ash teaming up in behind. Here comes Fearless Soul now unleashed by Bridge Mahon. She's my hedge fund racing out wide and at the back scrubbing the rail. That's Ella Fortunada as they come into the lane. Strike smart, just the leader. Royal Ash and Fearless Soul now launching their attacks. Loyal Action has faded back. Ella Fortunada making progress down against the rail. But they're inside now the final furlong and Fearless Soul responds to Sean Bridgemahan's handling and now grabs the lead of the Georgia Sang OD Trophy. It is Fearless Soul coming away under the visiting Sean Bridgemahan. He has 3,399 wins. It's now 3,000. 1,400. Sean Bridgemahan and Fearless Soul win the feature. Strike Smart is second. Royal Ash is next. Could be She's My Hedge Fund over El Afortunado. So congratulations to jockey Sean Bridgemohan on your 3,400th win. That's a new milestone. Congratulations, sir. Well done. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number seven, a number two Fearless Soul. Four-year-old Chestnut Colt by Soul Warrior. Rumble by Graham Hall. Bred Chad Fiani, Erman Wong Leong, and Donna Wong. Owned by Christian Sagan Maraj, the winning trainer, Philip Piani OD, winning rider, and very well ridden.
winning rider Sean Bridgemahan. 3,400 win career win. Congratulations once again, Sean. The groom, Milton McDonald. Second, at number three, Strike Smart. A third, number seven, Royal Ash. Fourth, number eight, She's My Hedge Fund. Final time for five and a half furlongs, 107 and a three. Please note, there's a steward's inquiry. Hold all tickets, please. Steward's inquiry. They're looking at the vicinity of the 300 meter point. Jockey Tevin Foster, you're needed in the steward's room. That's Jockey Tevin Foster. Please go now to the steward's room. And after this George's inquiry, there will be no change. No change to the order of finish and no change. So Fearless Soul, the four to five favorite, wins section one of the George Hosang Trophy. And uh, Sean Bridgemahan was aboard for the ride. First time ever riding in Jamaica. Uh, the track announcer just announcing 3,400 career wins. Um, did you win races outside of North America? Because this would be more than 3,400, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be, but uh, I've done all my accomplishments. But it's nice to come in here. I want to thank my trainer, Mr. Fiona, to give me the opportunity to, you know, ride a, these, a nice little horse today. And obviously, I couldn't mess it up. He had him in great shape, and all I had to do was just keep him out of trouble. Well, it wasn't as straightforward as many people thought it would have been. You looked a little bit squeezed out of the starting gates, and you had to take the wide route around. Talk to us about that. Well, I watched him replays and studied the way he ran and uh, watched him run last time and a couple times that he's won. And he seemed like he's a much better horse on the outside. So my strategy going in was never to get him on the fence and give him a clear path down the lane. He seemed to get braver. Yeah. And how much horse did you have coming into the home stretch? Because you look pretty confident coming off the final bend. Well, when I pushed the trigger, he accelerated so quick. I'm like, man, I might have did this a little too soon. And I'm like, wow, I can't take it back now. So I might as well go on with it. I hope your dad is watching because this is live globally. Um, any words to your dad who would have visited Caymanus Park religiously in his younger days and uh, when you were a little chap, of course, before you migrated at 13. Any words for your dad who we hope is watching? Absolutely. This one's for you, Dad. I love you. Thank you very much, Sean. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, Sean Bridgemahan, 3,400 career wins. 3,339 of those wins in the USA and the first time riding in Jamaica, the first horse he's riding in Jamaica, he's a winner. Well, the legendary Philip Fiana was the man who conditioned this horse for uh, Sean Bridgemahan's uh, ride and uh, Sean just uh, credited you, Philip, for bringing this horse in good condition. Talk to us about the horse's preparation and how confident you were going in. Well, he ran him last week and 
gave it up at the half of her long to go. I knew he was a little short. This race was a bit quick coming back, but Sean made a difference and he won the race nicely. Yeah. Won its first two starts last year, August and October, but no wins again until today. Could you talk to us about um, this horse's development in the past five or six months? Well, as you know, he's a half-brother to two classic winners, so a lot was expected of him. And his first two races showed that he had promise. But he has an awkward trait of carrying his head and gazing all over the world, which we haven't corrected as yet, but we'll see what happens in the future. And when next may we see this horse? You're running about another three weeks. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Philip Fiani, 14 time champion trainer, um, produces a fearless soul in unbeatable condition here with the Sean Bridgman Award for the ride. Now, this is a special week in local horse racing because the Jamaica Thoroughbred Horsemen's Foundation is staging a fundraiser on Monday at the Jamaica Officers Club at Up Park Camp. And it's uh, to raise funds for needy people in the horse racing industry. Um, came man of spark workers, people on the backstretch and so on. And one of the directors of the foundation is uh, Shay Sabrati. Uh, Shay, the past few days with these Hall of Fame jockeys coming in and being a part of this fundraising event, I think may have triggered a lot more interest in your dinner coming up on Monday. Yes, I hope that it will generate more crowd to the event and it will be a success. And I don't think the fact that your guest speaker one just now will hurt your project. No, it will make it even better. What can the attendees expect, expect on Monday night? Um, expect camaraderie between horsemen, among horsemen, and an enjoyable night. And it's so great to have the Hall of Fame riders here because we have Charlie Hussey, Emilio Rodriguez, and uh, George Osang, all former champion jockeys in Jamaica, and huge favorites among the fans here. We see the fans interacting with all of them, and we will speak to them in another half an hour or so. But um, how difficult was it to get them buying into this project, and uh, how much them being a part of it is assisting how successful this might be? It was not difficult. When we spoke to them and told them our initiatives and what we would like to do for the workers on the backstretch, they were all in. Can you give us an idea of the ticket sales? Because your mom told me last week that ticket sales were speeding past 150 and, and, and climbing. That's what she said. It's, it's up there. It's up there. Yes. Yeah. Archie, thank you very much for talking to us and all the best for the dinner on, on Monday night. Yes, Shea Sabrati, she's one of the directors of the Jamaica Thoroughbred Horsemen's Foundation, uh, staging a dinner on Monday night at the Jamaica Officers Club at Up Park Camp, and they are trying to raise funds to help the racing industry and a lot of the workers here at Caymanus Park who, who need help because uh, there are a lot of dedicated people in this industry, people who have been working along the backstretch and in the stables, grooms, men who have been working the horses for 30, 40, sometimes 50 years. And it's been a, a huge struggle for them. And it's great that the foundation is helping to assist them in whatever way they can to make life a little easier for them. We'll talk to you again in another half an hour after the second section of the George Hosang Trophy. George Hosang, of course, a four-time Jamaica champion jockey, two-time champion jockey at Woodbine in Canada, winner of the Avelino Gomez Award in Canada, which is a prestigious award for jockeys there, and it's a pleasure to have George Osang here. And who knows, when we speak to him after the second section, we also may have a chat with Charlie Hussey, Emilio Rodriguez, and George Osang.